catching coordinator for the uh, for the Angels. In fact, his daughter's here tonight. She lives in Cheyenne and she works for the state of Wyoming. So we, I think we should welcome her to, to the event. Too. He's still in the game, and we know you're 71, and he's the oldest brother, so he's got to have a few more. He's been through a few more treads on the tires than you have. Your next oldest brother, Marcel, is still working for the Angels, and, and you're still working. Your dad came over from Switzerland. He was a chef at the Biltmore Hotel. I mean, how did you get involved in baseball? Did he know what baseball was, and did he understand it? Uh, he didn't know baseball. He was like from Switzerland. He was uh, he went to culinary school. I think 14 years old in France, and and came over and, uh, you know, but he became a very, you know, he was very, he worked at the Billmore Hotel, which is a very prestigious hotel in, in Los Angeles for 40 some years. And uh, we all ended up working there. We were 10, 12 years old and we were doing some child labor that we wouldn't be able to go ahead and do now. We were working in the kitchen, making salads and stuff like that. And, and he was a little guy, 5'5", five, five, and, you know, but he was one that uh, was old country and, and didn't believe in anything, but he had to have his hands on every single thing. It was, as far as doing stuff, worked 12, 14 hours. He put great work ethic and, uh, into his business and everything was, was, was his name. As soon as a, a plate came out, it had Bill Latchman on it. If it, was, if it wasn't correct, uh, somebody was gonna catch hell in the kitchen or the waiter or somebody else because of that. He called him little Napoleon in the kitchen. But uh, he was the one that taught us our, our, our work ethic and, uh, and uh, again, probably taught us well, we better get the hell out of the kitchen too because we don't work for 14, 16 hours in this place here. And, and so we all found out, we at that time, like I said, I was very fortunate growing up when I did, that you know, you could go to the park and you could ride your bike to the park and, uh, and play ball and play baseball season, you play football, football, basketball, and basketball, and then have to worry about, you know, all the stuff that you have to worry about nowadays. You can't even send your kids to, to parks and stuff like that. And so it was a situation where we had some guys that uh, all around us with Jimmy Lefevre, who was one that uh, his dad was in charge of the park, and that's where uh, that American Legion team got together. George Anderson, Billy Console, a bunch of guys ended up playing in the, in the major leagues. They got together there, and it was just was something that just we just grew on to each other, and and it was something that, uh, like I said, you enjoy doing it, and you put yourself out to it. Plus, I worked for the Dodgers, got to that point, so. But uh, how how nice it would be to play professional baseball. You know, you say you played basketball, football.